Last time on Left Behind. I have an assignment for you. I had plans for today. Do I have an option? No, no options. His Excellency requests that you fly to Denver today. He told me that he thinks I should get out of here. He doesn't think it's safe. What danger could there be in here? We will rally in Jerusalem one month from today. You invest what little of your life is left in Judah. Congratulations, Mac. You just got promoted. <laughs> Congratulations to you, my friend. Of all the people in this world, the potentate is personally overseeing your assassination. Is your name Rayford Steele? Uh, Sir, uh, is that your car out there with the lights on? Mr. Steele? Yeah, thanks. I'll be right back. But, sir... Ken, they thought I was Rayford. I was almost in. You don't want in. Rayford's been set up. Captain Steele, there is no need to get back in the car. I'll just be a minute. You can't go back in there, Buck. You know that. I can't not go in either, but they're gonna kill you. Based on Soul Harvest, the fourth book in the best-selling series, Tyndale House Publishers proudly presents episode 46 of the dramatic audio edition of Left Behind. jump on the gas and get out of here. I can't. You go in there as Rayford Steele and neither you or Hattie will come out alive. Here, here, take this. At least act like I'm paying you. I have to go in. She's gonna recognize you straight off. She may say your name. Yeah, well, if they think I smell the rat, Hattie's as good as dead. I am not gonna hand her over to the GC. All right, I'll stay close. If you ain't out of there soon, I'm coming in. All finished, Captain? Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's go. Great, you know where your daughter is. If they found a place to hide, that's the place for you to go. By the time Carpathia finds out you didn't show in Denver, you'd already be safe. I'm not really good at hiding out. Ray, you're no good to us dead. <laughs> I knew the job was temporary, but I didn't count on being a target. What are the chances of my surviving to the glories appearing now? Yeah, I couldn't say, Ray. I really couldn't say. Uh, Steel. Yeah, this is Ken Ritz. Ken, where's Buck? I just went inside. What? Couldn't stop him. Believe me, I tried. Look, they might not realize he's not me until after they've killed him. You've got to get him out of there. He thinks if we do something suspicious, Hattie's gone. I drove around back. There's a GC van parked here. If Buck's not out in a few minutes, I'm going in. Look, these people have unlimited weapons. Are you armed? Yeah, but they're not going to risk shooting inside, are they? <laughs> they don't care about anybody but themselves. What are you carrying? Uh, Buck doesn't know it, but I carry a Beretta any time I fly for him. Good. If you'd simply told me you were Captain Steele and given me the right patient, we could have avoided this whole thing. Yeah, sorry. She'll see you now. Then we'll fill out a little paperwork and these gentlemen will run you both out to Stapleton. Oh, uh, you know what? We didn't put down at Stapleton. You didn't? We were told the terrain between here and Stapleton was worse than between here and Denver International, so we... I thought DIA was closed. Uh, closed to commercial, right. Uh, they still have a couple runways open for smaller planes. We'll head back from there. Captain Steele, we haven't given you your orders yet. I just assumed I'd be flying to New Babylon. If DIA is closed to commercial, where'd you get the car? One outfit was still open. I guess they're serving GC military. Tell her we're on our way. Will do. Yes, ma'am. You have a visitor coming. Well, she's gonna be surprised to see her old captain. <laughs> Uh, she used to call me Buck for short, but in front of the crew and passengers, it was always Captain Steele. Yeah, she was my senior flight attendant at PanCon for a lot of years. Always did a good job. Miss, it's time to go. Where are we going? Captain Steele's here for you, ma'am. He'll take you to an intermediate site and then back to New Babylon. Oh. Hi, Hattie. It's Rayford. I don't want to go back to New Babylon. Just following orders, Miss Durham. 
Why? You know about that. I, I can't travel that far. We'll take it in stages. Uh, you'll make it. But, but I... Let's get started, ma'am. We're on a tight schedule. Oh. We'll move to the conference well, room, too. Well, I would appreciate it if you gentlemen would give me the courtesy to let me get dressed. Yes, ma'am. We'll be right outside. So would you fly up here from Dallas? Oh, just one of those... Well, you know, the little jets that survived the quake. And how was the flight from Baghdad? Uh, we flew out of New Babylon. Well, you wouldn't believe how fast the rebuilding's going there. Long flight? Very, yeah. Yeah, but we've had a number of... Oh, stops to pick up dignitaries. And... What's that like? All those muckety-mucks on the same plane? Oh, another day, another dollar. Pilots stay in the cockpit, you know. We uh, don't get involved in the pageantry. Let's go, ma'am. So, um, so what kind of vehicle did you guys get issued? Uh, anything that'll get us through this terrain faster than a rented sedan? Not really, a minivan. Rear-wheel drive, unfortunately, but we can get you to DIA with no trouble. Hmm. Where are they sending us, anyway? I'll give you this in a few minutes in the other room, but it says Washington Dulles. Mm, Dulles. I'll be What's, uh, what's in the other room? Uh, debriefing. It's standard. Yeah, yeah, it was my wife who called you. Uh, she said you had the, uh, you know. Oh, yeah, she mentioned that. There you go. All right. Uh, now, who'd you need to see? Just tell me this. That room down there where the guards are? Yeah. Is there any way to get somebody out of there without going through the front? Uh, sh yeah, sure. I, I, I can help you with that. You better head back. Fortunato thinks you were visiting friends, right? Well, I am, aren't I? <laughs> How does he contact you? He has the tower call me, and then we switch to VHF. Have a safe trip. Yeah, thanks, Ray. Listen, if I don't see you... Hey... Guys, one way or another, we'll see each other again. All right, ma'am. Time's up. Let's go. Hey, she locked it. What? Open this door now. Miss Durham, open the door. Hey, 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 easy, guys. Come on, she's just getting dressed. Everybody back in your rooms. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, you're oh. Back. What in the world is going on? Oh. 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 What? Why did you just kill her? Inside, Captain, now! Oh, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. She's not here. The window! Move! No! John! Oh. Don't hurt me! Lock that door and stay under the bed. Please, I don't want to uh, die. Yeah, lock the door now or you will. Uh. Open this door now. Ah! No! Please don't kill me! Where is he? Through there! Is that you? Ray Buck's a little busy right now. We'll have to call you back. Just take care of him. Oh, get in here! Go, 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 go! Stay down! Oh, oh look out for the field! Stay down! Man. You okay? Whoa. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, but the uh, the back tire's gone. We won't get far with it like that. Doggone it, that's it. I've been shot at for the last time. Whoa, oh, Ken, Ken, what are you doing? Ken, you're going straight for him. Yeah, I know. Hold the wheel. Oh, you are crazy, man. You're going to kill him. Where did you get that? You just hold her steady. That's it. Crawl behind the van, you coward. Come on. Come on, we have to get to the airport. No way. This guy is mine. Ken! Stay in the car. Uh. Ken, he's down. Come on. I got him in the leg. Didn't expect any coming back yet, did uh, you? Uh, oh, oh, no way, he's alone. We gotta go. Hey, if we can get out of sight, they'll think we're headed to a DIA. Yeah, well, if we're followed, it won't be by what's left of those what? guys. Yeah, why not? Yeah, they'll never get the van started. I borrowed a few things from under their hood. 
Uh, no wonder he's not coming after us. <laughs> hey, uh, grab the phone. It's down there. Okay. Uh, I got it. I got it. Uh, hello? Boss, it's Ray. Uh, I can say. Ray, so far so good. We're headed toward the airport. Well, how's Hattie? Uh, hanging on for dear life. Hey, listen. I'll call you later. Looks like we got a gas leak. Whoa. The gauge is dropping fast. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. Hang on! Scuba to Albie. Uh, go ahead, Scuba. Need your help on that end. Uh, get back to base as fast as you can and find out what they know. Uh, roger that. Uh, Scuba, what happened with the lady over? Safe for the moment. I'm gonna need some kind of story when I show up. Okay, uh, roger that. Can I suggest a Minot? Come again? Uh, North Dakota, remember? Oh, yeah, I do. Good call, Alby. Will do. Need everything you can give me ASAP. Roger, we're on it. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad at all. She's overheating. Well, I'm overheating too. Yeah, well, we have to keep going. Temperature gauge is in red. But... There's fire coming from the back tire. Yeah, well, if you stop, the gas will hit those flames. What? Hey, listen. Even if we get to the airport, Ken, make sure we're empty before we stop. What if the tire ignites the gas anyway? <laughs> then I hope you're right with God. Oh, I took the words right out of my mouth. Uh, go ahead, sir. What is your location? Two hours west of you, sir. Returning. Are you coming straight back? Uh, no, sir. Not planning to, but I can. Please do. There was a major tactical fallout north of us. Uh, what happened, sir? We're not sure yet. We're sorting through the details now, and then we need to get back on schedule as soon as possible. I'm on my way, sir. Keep it rolling, keep it rolling, Ken, come on. It's the only reason the gas tank hasn't exploded. Yeah, the engine will blow before I run out of gas. We may have to jump. Charles, I'm... No, 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 I'm getting up here with you guys. Help, fuck, help me. What are you doing? Yeah, uh, emergency <sighs> number. Yes, yes, please inform Stapleton Tower. There's a small craft approaching on fire. Get the foam trucks out, now. You think they understood that? Yeah, they'll be ready for something. It just won't be falling out of the sky. Keep it rolling, come on. One more rise and we're on the back side of the runway. How in the world did you get out of there? I wonder that myself. That guard back there flat out murdered the lady working in there. What? Claire? Claire Blackburn's dead? Oh, uh, Hattie, if that was her name, she's dead all right. <laughs> That's what they wanted to do to me. Yeah, you got that right. Oh, man, I'll stay with you guys as long as you put up with me. <laughs> Engine's gone. Could be out of gas. No. Uh, Come on. Something's still burning. Uh, shift to neutral, Hattie. Already there. Grab your door, Hattie. Oh, no. Uh, the phone truck's over there. Don't Look. wait for oh, it. No. Get out now. Uh, Hattie, jump. Uh, 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 Are you okay? Oh, I'm not sure. Oh, I hit pretty hard. Here, let me help you. Here you go, Hattie. Buckle her up quick. We gotta get out of okay. here. Okay, okay. <sighs> Ken, don't make it fancy. Just get it in the air. Yeah, deja vu, Williams. I thought you were coming for me at noon. What happened? What happened to your phone? Chloe and I tried to reach you all morning. Well, they took it. They said they had to run diagnostics on it or something. Oh, are you healthy? I mean, other than your condition. Well, I felt better. I'm still pregnant, if that's what you're asking. <laughs> Where are you taking me? Uh, Hattie, we're going to spend some time in hiding. We found an intact house and a shelter if we need it. Who else is there? Uh, you, me, Ken, a friend from Israel, Chloe, and Rayford when he gets back. What about medical care? Well, I have an idea there, too. No promises, but we'll see what we can do. Oh, man, I couldn't believe my luck when I paid off that janitor. <laughs> he took me outside where I could look right through the window. When you said you were with Buck, I knew something was up, but figured I'd better trust you. <laughs> yeah, give me the morgue. Dr. Floyd Charles' office. Ken, which airport? Uh, have him meet us at Waukegan. Dr. Charles, uh, thanks for meeting us. No problem. I'm following you to Mount Prospect, or wherever you are now, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, excuse us a minute, Ken. I'll help add you to the car. Okay, thanks. Uh, we'll only be a minute. Hey, uh, Doc, listen, I I hit a guard back in Colorado. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of wondering how bad I hurt him. 
I have a friend at the GC emergency facility outside Littleton. I can call him and see if he knows anything. Great, thanks. I'd appreciate it. Patty, you take the downstairs bed here. Oh, Chloe, I couldn't. Not with the shape you're in. Oh, no, in. it's not even an issue. Oh. Please. We're going to put your stuff right here. Thank you. You have had a harrowing experience. We will help you now. There is no need to worry. Buck, are you trying to make me a widow again? Oh, Chloe, I, I, I can't shake what happened to the guard. I, I think I might have killed him. Tell me what happened. Ah, oh, I don't know. I, I, I couldn't believe it. There was all this just commotion, and the, the guard behind me just just turned and shot down this lady that worked there. I, I knew he would do the same to us, so I just... Oh, I just reacted. And you punched him? Well, I had to do something. It was self-defense. I know, but I just got this bad feeling that I killed him. November 9 Alpha to Dallas Regional. Over. Dallas, go ahead, November 9 Alpha. Relay urgent message to Global Community Supreme Commander. Mission aborted due to mechanical failure. I'm in Amarillo checking equipment before returning to base. ETA, two hours. Over. Roger that, 9 Alpha. I hope this works. I still want to check on Hattie one more time before I head back to Kenosha. It's going to be touch and go for her and the baby for a while. She's been through a good bit of trauma. We'll do everything you said. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on her. And you need to lay low a few days. No mm. flying or whatever you did that gave you these stitches. <laughs> what, no more shootouts? That's standard fair working for this bozo. Hey, 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 not like I plan it that way. And <laughs> you. Time's your best friend. Mm. The cast won't be ready to come off for a while. Do the exercises I showed you. The rehab will go faster once they're off. I will. Let me change the bandage on that forehead, Buck. Uh, yeah, thanks. Hey, Doc, uh, I'd feel better if you tell me what you found out. You were on the phone an awfully long time. Doc? The man is dead. Uh, really? I don't see how you had any choice. Uh, they'll come looking for me, though. They had cameras throughout the place. From what I've learned, this is not the first reason they'd have to come looking for you. Uh, no, but I... I didn't mean to kill him. But if you hadn't, he would have killed you. You know his assignment was to take out both, you and Hattie. Uh, I know, but it, how can a punch kill somebody? Ow! Ah! My friend in Littleton says either the blow to the face or to the back of the head could have done it. They're leaning toward the posterior cranial damage as the cause of death. His skull shattered when he hit the floor. He died instantly. Oh, man. Even people who kill in self-defense are haunted and sobered by the experience. Ask yourself this. Where would Hattie be if you hadn't done what you did? Where would you be? Heaven for me. Uh, for Hattie... Well, that's a different story. Then you bought her some time. I guess. Captain Steele, what happened? Commander, Mac, I was sluggish, unresponsive. Went as far as I dared, had to check it out. I was able to make an adjustment, but by then I was so far behind schedule, I thought I'd better check in. You don't know what happened then? The plane, not entirely, but it wouldn't surprise me if one of the hydraulic lines... I mean broken. what happened in Denver. In Denver? I told you, Commander, I was unable to reach him. Follow me. We knew Miss Durham was unwilling to return to New Babylon, but His Excellency believed it was in her best interest and in the best interest of global security. To protect his fiancée and their child, we assigned two security officers to meet you and her. Their top priority was the transfer of Miss Durham to you. Then you were to transport her to the Middle East. The surviving officer double-checked the system. W one of them was killed? He found this video of an imposter. Imposter? The man claimed to be you. These were professionals, Captain Steele. There was more than one. At least two, maybe more. 
The security cameras in front of the building and in the reception area were not operating. The action you'll see here took place at the north end of the corridor. The tape begins with the security guards and the perpetrator stepping outside Miss Durham's door while she dressed. I'm kind of blurry. Now watch. When the security guard knocks on Miss Durham's door, the other also turns toward the door, but the perp glances down the hall. That's the clearest view we see of his face. Still not very clear. The senior guard believes the perp was distracted by two janitors who appear earlier. We will interview them later today. Now here, the guard calls to Miss Durham. The other orders the patients back into their rooms. When the senior guard blows open the door, there, that's when the perp somehow disarms the guard and murders the advisor where she stands. When the guard tries to disarm him, he is hit in the face and is dead before he hits the floor. That's not what I see. What are you saying? That guard did the firing. See? Uh, there. Uh, he's firing. The perp steps back. The guard wheels around. Looks like he slips on the shell casing. See? The, the punch drives his head to the floor. Let me see it again. Uh, I, I didn't even see the perp try and grab the gun. Say what you will, gentlemen. But that imposter murdered the advisor and the guard. Uh, the guard might have fallen even if he hadn't been punched. It makes no difference. The accomplice pulled Miss Durham through the window and sent her to the getaway car. Well, what happened to the other guard? He was shot. He has a severe wound to his heel. Supreme Commander Fortunato. Yes, sir. An update on the situation. Go ahead. Our man's in surgery right now. The accomplice was the janitor you saw on the tape. We found the real janitor with a wad of cash. Says hmm. the guy forced him to take the money. Held a hmm. knife to his throat. Thank you. The man must be from the Denver area. It doesn't take a trained eye to identify regional clothing. Commander, that's an insightful observation. Very possible. I didn't see a knife anywhere. Captain Steele, she will contact you. She always does. And you will let us know immediately when she does so. I understand you're anxious to know she's okay. Are you sure you had no involvement in this? Like I said, I never got to Denver. You had better be telling me the truth. His Excellency would consider your involvement in this crime high treason. And that, of course, would be punishable by death. Left Behind. The dramatic audio series is based in part on the book Soul Harvest by Tim LaHaye and Jerry Jenkins and has been adapted for radio by Chris Fabry with music by Steve Wick, directed and produced by Todd Bustee. Left Behind, the dramatic audio series, is a production of Gap Digital and Tyndale House Publishers. Thank you for listening. <laughs>